Three phase transmission line with grounding. Line length, four kilometers. Copper conductor diameter, one millimeter. Conductivity of copper, 58 times 10 to the 6 Siemens per meter. Voltage, 400 volts. Resistance A, 2 ohms. Resistance B, 2.5 ohms. Resistance C, 1 ohm. Inductance, 0 0.002 Henry's. Ground resistance, 8 ohms. In this tutorial, we will calculate the current in the power transmission line connected with an external circuit load. To simulate the problem, you should specify the problem parameters, define the geometric model, define material data and boundary conditions, solve the problem and analyze results. Specifying the problem parameters. To create a new problem, press New button and choose Quick Field Problem. Specify the problem name and destination folder. The problem type is AC Magnetics. Specify the frequency. The model class is Plain Parallel. The model length is 4000 meters. Specify the circuit file name. Proper length units should be selected. Cartesian coordinates are more suitable to build the model. The problem description is finished. We have specified the problem type, length units, and model class. Defining the geometry. Now we can define a geometric model. Press Edit Geometry button to open the model file. It is more convenient to set the value of grid spacing to 1 cm. Do it in the Edit menu and select Grid Settings. Type in the grid cell size here. Switch to Insert Mode to build the model. Define the model geometry using direct lines and arc primitives of the model editor. We will move the conductor to its proper place. The upper conductor is placed 65 centimeters above origin. To see the whole model, press Zoom to Fit button. Duplicate the conductor to create two others. Two other conductors are placed 120 degrees and 240 degrees from the first conductor relative to the coordinate origin. To see the whole model, press Zoom to Fit button. We should restrict the calculation area with an external boundary. After the model geometry is defined, the mesh should be built. Defining materials data and boundary conditions. Labels assigned to the geometric objects describe material properties, sources, and boundary conditions. Switch to select mode. To assign a label, right-click the object and choose Properties. Type in the label name here.
Labels are listed in the problem tree for every object group. Double clicking the label in the tree invokes the corresponding properties dialog. Relative permeability of the conductor A is 1. Conductivity of the conductor A is 56 times 10 to the 6 Siemens per meter. Field sources of conducting blocks must be specified in the circuit. Relative permeability of error is 1. Relative permeability of conductor B is 1. Conductivity of the conductor B is 56 times 10 to the 6 Siemens per meter. Field sources of conducting blocks must be specified in the circuit. Relative permeability of the conductor C is 1. Conductivity of the conductor C is 56 times 10 to the 6 Siemens per meter. Field sources of conducting blocks must be specified in the circuit. We presume that far from the line the field is zero. Having finished with labels properties description, we can edit the circuit. Add elements to the circuit and connect them with wire. Insert quick field blocks. Insert resistors. We should also add a resistance that will represent the ground. Insert inductance. Connect elements with wire. Switch to select mode and specify the circuit elements properties. Double click the element to edit its properties. It is more convenient to change the label to UA. Type in the voltage value and phase angle for UA. Specify UB. Specify UC. Now let's specify the resistance value for phase A. Specify the resistance value for phase B. Specify the resistance value for phase C. Now let's specify the inductance value for phase C. Link labels with the corresponding circuit elements. Choose the label from the list.
Now let's specify the ground resistance. Having finished with the circuit definition, we can solve the problem and analyze the solution. Obtaining the solution. Press Solve Problem button to solve the problem. To view the circuit currents, press Circuit button. Select the element in the list to view its current and voltage. The 4 kilometer line currents are the following. 